Fesker ma. Good afternoon. She Jason. Antenyam. Ahuram. My name, my name is Jason. Welcome to the first lesson, first video lesson in my Gallic Foundations course. Just now, we're going to work with eight essential adjectives, eight high frequency words that you can use to express yourself and that you'll see quite often in Scottish Gaelic. Mm. So let's get started here. First up, more, 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 <laughs> more. So I'm going to be gesturing here, doing actions with my hands, making up almost a sign language for my Gaelic lessons here so that you can understand quickly. And because you'll be hearing the words pronounced slowly and clearly, you'll be seeing me do gestures, I'll be writing things up here, you'll be having Gaelic input, you'll be seeing and understanding Gaelic in so many ways that you'll just remember it. It'll be like magic, it'll just come to you after a while. Effortlessly. Mm-hmm. Gleva. 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 Mm. So feel free to gesture with me if you like, but you don't have to. If you remember this crazy long-haired man just kind of did these things and okay, that's fine. Your brain is gonna remember them. It'll help you remember the Gallic words. All right, back to it. More. More. <laughs> More. Beak, beak, <laughs> beak, more, beak, more, 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 beak. <laughs> ah, snock, snock, ah, oh, snock, snock. Hmm. If you speak American English, you might recognize a slang word here. If that helps you remember, wonderful. Any connection you can make between a Gallic word and a word that you're very familiar with in your native language will help you remember it so much quicker. So by all means, make any association you can that helps you. Snock. Snock. Mm. More. Big. Snock. Mm, snock. Quick time out. As I learned it when I was first learning Gaelic, snock traditionally is used for people, kind of for personality, like they're a nice person. It wouldn't really be used for much else. However, these days in modern Scottish Gaelic, that's changed a bit. Snock. Snock is used for a lot of different kinds of things. So just keep that in mind. Some people, you, you might hear some people say snock should be for people. That's fine. That's true. And then also some people use snock for like a nice shirt or a nice cup of coffee. And that's okay too. Gleva. Gleva. Mm. All right. Grot. <laughs> Need some space. Grot. Grot. Yeah, any of those. Gross, horrible, terrible. <laughs> it's a pretty strong word. Grot, as I understand it, literally means rotten. <laughs> so if you have an apple that's been in your bag for a long time, well, it would be grot. <laughs> grot. Also, one of, one of my YouTube subscribers, subscribers pointed out that grot sounds like the Swedish word for frog. If you don't like frogs, there's a connection for you. <laughs> Any connection you can make between these words helps you remember it better. And it makes it more meaningful to you. The more meaningful a language is to you, the more, just the easier it'll be to use and the, the quicker it'll be in your mind. Mm -hmm. Our minds really search for things that are meaningful to us. Mm -hmm. All right. Grot. 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 Snot. 
Oh, snuck. Big. Big. More. 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 Hmm. Bria. 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 So you could point to something that you consider beautiful. Maybe there's a painting or something like that around. Or if you like, you can point to me. If I'm your cup of tea, that's fine. <laughs> Bria, right? Bria. Bria. I have a fox painting above my board. Bria. They're quite beautiful, foxes. Bria. Any connection you can make. Bria. Bria. I had, uh, when I was teaching in Scotland, teaching in a high school, I had a couple students, a couple girls named Bria. It's, it's quite a nice Scottish girl's name over there. Bria. Bria. Mm. Bria. 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 Big. More. Grot. <sighs> Grot. Snock. Aw. Snock. Still with me? You're doing great. Aha! What does this funky looking one mean? Gifrichter. 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 Huh. Gifrichter. Hmm. Quick time out. Where's that J sound coming from? Gifrichter. It's the DI. Makes a J sound in Gaelic. Gifrichter. Yeah. Gifrichter. Huh. Huh. Gifrichter. Gifrichter. Hmm. Gifrichter. More. Grot. <laughs> Grot. Big. Big. Snock. Ah. Big. Agus. Snock. Mm -hmm. More. Agus. Snock. <laughs> Agus? What's this Agus? Agus, Agus? Agus. Agus. Snock. Agus. Bria. Hmm. Gifrichter. Agus. Snock. Hmm. More. Bria. Agus. Gifrichter. Hmm. Okay. Two more. You ready? Blasta. <laughs> Blasta. Tasty. Yummy. Whatever works best for you for this translation. Blasta. Mmm, blasta, blasta, blasta. One of my students came up with an amazing way to remember it. <clears throat> Excuse me, to remember blasta. Ha pasta, blasta. <laughs> ha pasta, blasta. Ha pasta, blasta. Pasta is tasty. Ha pasta, blasta. Mm. Yes, as someone of Italian descent, I can definitely say, yeah, oh yeah. Ha pasta, blasta. <laughs> kjarscht. <laughs> Shin kjarscht. Kjarscht means correct or right. Like, that's right. Shin kjarscht. Shin kjarscht. Let's put shin up there. Shin. 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 Shin kjarscht. Shin kjarscht. Uh-huh. Ha pasta blasta. Yeah. Shin kjarscht. Okay. Blasta. Ha pasta Blasta. Mmm, pasta. Mmm, blasta. Blasta. 
show t show 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 t shin shin pasta ha pasta blaster show kupati mm -hmm. ha kupati blaster mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. shin kyarsht <laughs> kyarsht mm -hmm. mm. hati blaster mm. i guess yeah i guess ha coffee blaster a coffee blaster. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a tea person myself, but do like the occasional Americano or filter coffee. Okay. Glieva. <laughs> Glieva. Our last one down here. Looks like math, but it actually means ma. Uh, it means ma. <laughs> it means good. Ma, ma, mm, ma. Ha pasta, ha pasta, ma. Ha pasta, blaster. Ha kupati, ma. <laughs> ha kupati, blaster. Mm, mm. Oh yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Ma. One of my students in Scotland, uh, I think he was a. Uh, sixth grader he was uh, i think he was 12. Um, he came up with a great association for ma so you're thinking okay it looks like the word math like math class or maths as would be across the pond and he would sarcastic sarcastically say oh yeah ha maths ma mm, kind of roll his eyes <laughs> so if you're not a fan of mathematics you could be a bit sarcastic with this one. Oh yeah ha mathematics ma Ha mathematik ma uh huh ma <laughs> ma again another association to help you remember the more you do this the more effortless your Gaelic will be mm -hmm. Kleva 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 <laughs> so we've established what these mean built up some associations we've started building up a foundation in your mind which is important but we need to build on that if we just leave this as a list of words then they're gonna, it's going to be more difficult for your mind to use them because it's just individual words. We need to practice them in full sentences, in context, so that your mind is used to connecting them with other words and also so that you get a lot of practice and immersion in conversational Gaelic. That's why we're here. We're here to communicate. We prioritize communication in these video lessons with me. So let's use them. We've already been using these a bit more, a bit here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> okay, Maha. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So, when you're asking questions like is or are, you start with avel. Avel. This BH is the V sound that you're hearing. Avel. 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 So just follow along with me, okay? So when you ask Avel questions, Gaelic doesn't have just a yes or no, unfortunately. <laughs> it would be really nice if they did. There are ways of working around it. However, it's really just learning the different kind of yes and no responses. There are positive or negative responses to question words and verbs. It takes time, but it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. Gaelic is very good for your health. Keeps Alzheimer's at bay. Because your mind is using so much power, <laughs> your mind gets a really good workout. Okay, so when asking Avel, Avel, the way to say yes is ha, ha, ha. No, chaniel, chaniel. So you have ha or chaniel. When I ask a question using Avel, I'll ask the full question slowly, give you time to think, and then prompt you saying kind of yes or no okay just follow along with me feel free to talk to the video <laughs> no problem 
<clears throat> okay, okay. Avel, 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 T, Avel, T, Blaster, Avel, T, Blaster, Ha, Chaniel, Ha, no Chaniel. Me, I would say ha. <laughs> ha. Ha, T, blaster. If I didn't like it, mm. Chaniel. Chaniel, T, blaster. Okay. I still think of the blaster. <laughs> Avel, coffee, blaster. Ha, no Chaniel. Mm. Ha. Ha, coffee blaster. Mm, Chaniel, coffee blaster. <laughs> okay, Maha. Mm. Avel, Avel is, right? Avel, Canada, more. Avel, Canada, more. Ha, no, Chaniel. Ah, Chaniel. Hmm. Ha. Ha. Ha, Canada, more. Ha. Ha, Canada, more. Mm hmm Ha, Canada, more. Mm hmm mm hmm Ha, Canada, more. Punctuation is important. It saves lives. No eating grandma. <laughs> ha Canada more. Yeah. Ha pasta blaster. Ha Canada more. Mm hmm. Uh, Avel. Avel. Australia more. Ha. <laughs> ha. Ha Australia more. I guess, I guess. Ha Canada more. Hmm. Ha Canada, I guess Australia more. Mm hmm. Ha. Ah. Shin Kirscht. Shin Kirscht. Shin Kirscht. Kleva. <laughs> Kleva. Geva. You're going to see these so many times in my video lessons that you'll just have the words stuck in your head. You'll have these, these will just come out. It'll be like magic. I promise. <clears throat> mm. Ha Canada more. Ha Australia more. Mm. Avel. Avel. Japan more. Japan. We also learn country flags in these Gaelic lessons. <laughs> Avel, Japan. More? Mm, ha, Chaniel. Ha, Chaniel. Chaniel. <laughs> Chaniel. Mm -mm. Chaniel. Chaniel. Japan. More. Chaniel. 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 Japan more. Ach. Ach. But. Ach. Ach. Ach, 
Har Japan. Berea. Mm -hmm. Agus. Har Japan. Snok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chaniel. Chaniel. Japan more. Ach. Ha Japan Bria. I guess snock. Mm-hmm. Shin Kyasht. Shin Kyasht. Kyasht. Mm. Gleva. Gleva. Mm. 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 Wo. Wo. Avel. Avel. Japan. Jifrichter. Jifrichter. Wo. Canada. Ha. Chaniel. Ha. Ha. Ha Japan. Jifrichter. Wo? Canada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Canada, I guess Japan. Ha it Jifrichter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess ha Canada Jifrichter. Wo? Japan. Ha Canada Jifrichter. <laughs> Wo? Australia. <laughs> I guess ha Australia Jifrichter <clears throat> wo Canada I guess Japan Yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha Australia Bria Yeah Avel Avel Australia Moor Oh ha <laughs> Oh ha like, oh yes, like, oh ha, 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 Australia, more, ha, Australia, more, I guess, Avel, Avel, Japan, more, hmm, Chaniel, Chaniel, Japan, more, ha, Japan, big, ha, Japan, big, ha, Japan, big, <clears throat> I guess snock. I guess bria. Yeah. You go see the cherry blossoms. <sighs> bria. Bria. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Avel, Canada, big. Chaniel. <laughs> Chaniel. Avel, <clears throat> Avel, Canada, bria. Oh, ha. <laughs> oh, ha. Ha Canada Bria. Ha Canada Bria. Mm. Chaniel Canada Big. Ach. But. Ach. Ha Canada Bria. Mm -hmm. I guess Australia. Mm -hmm. Ha Australia Bria. Ach. Chaniel Australia Mm -mm. <clears throat> ha Australia more Bria I guess Inchenyoch Inchenyoch I guess ha Canada Inchenyoch Ha Japan Inchenyoch Ha Japan Bria I guess not I guess big. I guess inchenyoch. Mmm. Gleva. Gleva. Nice job. I'll see you in the next video.